thazapines 2 and uh, and thazapines 1 so let's begin with topic so in the thazapines 1 3 thazapines means with the continuation so here are 1 3 thazapines and we'll study 1 4 thazapines so in the synthetic methods you are taking the one of this molecule will ethyl 1 4 uh, 1 h 1 2 diazepine carboxylate it that what happens here is that rearrangement reaction will takes place in the presence of xylene upon heating in or in the presence of the solvent such as mesetylene in what happens here is the re, uh, it rearranges okay this bond will shift and this all the groups will rearrange to give back your 1 3 diazepine molecule so moving on to next it is the uh, synthesis of 1,3 diazepines. We, we, we will take the 1,4 diazepines and will uh, synthesize 1,3 diazepines. So, you are taking the 1,4 diazepines, okay, in presence of 1,2 dichlorobenzene upon 100 degrees Celsius. What happens here is there is a formation of aziridine ring over here okay first there is a ring closure and after that there is the e shifting of the bonds okay after once the, uh, the bonds gets rearranges and then it leads to the ring opening reaction uh, by the formation of your 1,3 diazepines and then moving on to cycloaddition reaction and uh, cyclobutadiene you are taking the tertiary butyl cyclobutadiene in and you are treating it with the di diazerines okay diazerines so if you will treat it with that in the presence of the benzene solvent at 20 degrees celsius is there is a formation of four member drink okay uh, and cycloaddition takes place over here you know that how to do cycloaddition reaction so after the formation of this adduct then when it when this opens after the uh, ring opening reaction with the shifting of the bonds you will get back your 1,3 diazepines moving on to next reaction you are taking the uh, pyridine molecule uh, okay and then azides with the pyridine molecules and then in the presence of the sodium uh, sodium methoxide and uh, upon uh, treatment with the methanol okay solvent such as methanol dioxane upon on photolysis one molecule of your nitrogen gets eliminated by the formation of your singlet nitrine focus over here singlet nitrine once the nitrine gets formed and then there is the formation of your aziridins okay after the formation of your aziridins since then there is a ring opening reaction after the ring opening reaction there is the shifting of your bonds all right and uh, that will lead to the formation of your uh, diazepine structure Moving on to next, it is your 1 4 diazepine and how you synthesize 1 4 diazepine. Okay, I have said you earlier it says that how you should know that it is a 1 4 diazepine and, and all. Okay, in the very first slide of this diazepines, and so uh, here moving on to synthesis, you are taking the um, amines, amines molecule benzene 1 2. O amines diamines two molecules of amines are attached with the benzene molecule and then these all are your alkyl substituents okay so when this gets treated it with the a um, chloronicotinic acid okay if it is treated it with the chloronicotinic acid it in presence of butoxyethanol at 150 degree celsius uh, upon 6 hours okay you are keeping for 6 hours at 150 degrees celsius what happens here is this lone pair of electron goes and uh, it will go and attack to the carbonyl ca carbon meanwhile there is a cleavage of your or water molecule h h from here and then oh from here gets cleave out as a water molecule oh, and then this again lone pair of electron will go and attack to the carbon atom over here uh, and then there is a cleavage of your hcl atom okay after the cleavage of your hcl and h2o there is a formation of one bond over here okay one bond over here one new bond will form over here and then one more new bond will form over here so you will result in this structure okay one for diazepine structure this all are your substituent moieties which are attached okay 
you can take any of the things any of the rings over here and then moving on to di um, ethylene diamine if you will take the ethylene diamine and then if you treat it with the diketones once upon treatment it with the diketones what happens here is two water molecule gets eliminated okay from here and then again from here two water molecules get eliminated by the formation of your diazepine structure moving on to next by thermal co-reagent co-reagent you have studied co-reagent i guess so um here you are taking the 1 to di minus cyclopropene and then upon uh, heating what happens here is there is a ring closure which is taking place ring closure and ring opening reaction which is taking place over here this bond shifts over here and then this shifts and then this breaks and then that's how it happens okay if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment box i will be showing you the mechanism okay so after formation of your adduct over here the hydrogen will open up and then this bond will shift and then this bond shifts make it as a first of all it will make it as a negative charge then this hydrogen which has been eliminated from here okay minus h plus it will go right this minus charge which is present in the hydrogen atom will go abstract the proton resulting you in the 1,4 diazepine and then moving on to fourth it is the uh, i'll show you in the next slide the reaction part so just uh, go through this one here if you will see you are taking the um, amino chloro uh, acid and then oxymes oxymes if you will take and then upon treatment it with the chloroacetyl chloride okay if you will read it with the chloroacetyl chloride what happens here is if you will see here one of the h and then cl gets cleaved out okay one of the h and cl h from the nh2 and cl from the chloroacetyl chloride will cleave out and there is a formation of one more bond which is going and attacking over here this ch2 co cl will come and sits over here resulting you in this adduct formation and there is the quinoxolin formation okay and after this formation what happens here is there is a cleavage of one more molecule of cl okay from here the cl gets cleaved out resulting you in in this structure and uh, once you will get this there is a nucleophilic addition reaction and and then uh, this methyl amine will react as your nucleophile this mine uh, lone pair of electrons in the nitrogen atom will go and attack to the carbon atom and then this bond shifts it will make it as a negative charge and once it will gain the negative charge over here this negative charge shifts make it as a double bond and then this bond shifts make it as a, a double bond over here and then this bond rearranges towards this side and then it will form one aziridin ring okay and after the formation of your aziridin ring over here and then once it will form one aziridin ring this neutralizes the positive charge this uh, hydrogen atom which is present in the oxime and this will neutralize first when this shifts it will you will get your or aziridin ring okay and hyd hydrogen atom will get cleaved out and after the uh, cleaving out of the hydrogen atom you will generate the o minus oxide ion okay and then you will have the positive charge because nitrogen is having the four bonds in it and then after it, if you see nhme this nitrogen which is having again the lone pair of electron will go shift make it as a double bond this bond breaks and neutralizes the positive charge over it and once it will neutralize the positive charge and then this hydrogen which is present over here okay this will also gets cleaved out what happens here is it is an intramolecular uh, ring expansion takes place okay so this minus charge will abstract the proton and then this bond shifts make it as a double bond and there is a ring opening reaction which is taking place and then resulting you in this structure and then this hydrogen atom again open it uh, it will op gets open up and then this bond shifts and then this again gains a negative charge this hydrogen which gets cleaved out it will uh, go and abstract that proton and will result in this structure okay that is your diazepines 
moving on to next it is the thiazo pines you know what is thiazo pines right thiazo pines are nothing but this is the nitrogen atom and um, and this sulfur atom which is attached to it thiazo pine means thia is for sulfur group aza is for your nitrogen group okay together it is thiazo pines so from 5 amino sulfonyl chloride how you will synthesize this one is is this uh, the amino group which is having the lone pair of electrons nitrogen atom um, that will go attack to the sulfoxy group sulfur atom and then once it will go and attack at that time what happens there is a cleavage of the hcl moiety and after the cleavage of hcl moiety there is a formation of your thiazepine thiazepine will be this one because there is like saturated compound okay inside if you see it is a saturated compound so and then again if you will take this as a precursor and then if you will treat it with the amines and then what happens here is this group gets cleaved out hcn will cleave out from here and then you will result in uh, s n h r okay and then once you will get there is the uh, ring formation takes place the nitrogen atom which is having lone pair of electrons goes and makes one bond and then this bond shifts and triple bond this one of your bond shifts make it as a negative charge over here okay all right so and after that and uh, it will abstract the hydrogen so it will uh, uh, it will satisfy the carbon atom okay and then uh, you will result in this structure that is your uh, one two thiazepines moving on to synthesis of one three thiazepines so here what happens here is you are taking the two four six okay one two three four okay two four six 246 tri aryl groups these all are your aryl groups here you can uh, uh, attack any of your or aryl groups and then like uh, phenyl rings benzenes aromatic compounds you can attack and then after that if you will take this one and thiazonium perchlorate in presence of this chlorates perchlorate and then upon treatment it with the n2chco2 et if what happens here is is hcl4 uh, hclo4 will get cleaved out okay by the cleavage of this moiety what happens there is a ring expansion reaction which is taking place and then you will result in your 13 thiazepine 6 carboxylates okay and then moving on to here here you are getting your carboxylates because you are attacking this your or co2 et moiety okay and then esters and then again if you move on to second reaction you are taking the 2 bromo methyl benzoyl bromide 2 bromo methyl 2 bromo methyl benzoyl bromide this whole is your benzoyl bromide okay this upon treatment with the thiamides what happens here is uh, at um, if you will reflux at uh, 24 hours one day reflux if you will do upon treatment it with the acetone and na2co3 as base is uh, upon that the base treatment and if you will add with the amides thiamides and what happens here is there is a removal of your bromine molecule from here hbr gets cleaved out hbr from here and then you will get back your atom over here here you will go and attack to that okay and once you will result in this adduct formation then this nitrogen which is having the lone pair of electron will again go and then attack to the carbonyl carbon and then there is a cleavage of your bro hbr or h from nh and then br from here or and then that will get cleaved out leading to the 24 benzo thiazepine 5 1 h wounds next reaction uh, okay thank you if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment box i'll be coming with the next video for your uh, thiaz one three thiazepines structure itself the continuation of that like and subscribe my channel